It is Wednesday evening. I'm here with Mr. Bonsoir. And Owen over here. Hola, how's it going? We're just at the uh, the CMC hut in Mount Cook Village. Owen, Owen. Gonna uh, gonna go up to Empress Hut tomorrow. Go up the low peak of Mount Cook, Alraki. Do the Grand Traverse over to the, the main summit and then back over to Plateau Hut and get a helicopter out. That is the plan. Fingers crossed. Plan of action, hopefully the weather holds up. Just set off from Win Owen Hut. Morning. There she is. She is in all her glory. Just at Hooker Lake. Heading up there. Heading up Hooker. Just at the top of the Hooker Lake, having a wee break. Head of the lake, yeah. Pretty cool view of the, uh, the glacier over there. A few icebergs. Bit of a uh, scree scramble along the side of the lake, but made it all right. Just got to this uh, little high point where we can see where we got to go. Still a fair amount walking on uh, all the rock before we get to the, the proper glacier. Pretty full on the rain, walk along, but still pretty fast. A little bit of a walk, a little bit of a walk. See where it's calm as well. Nearing the hook ice wall. So we just made it up to the top of all the uh, moraine rocks. It was a bit of a slog, several hours walking on uh, crap ground. Here we are at the uh, Hooker Ice Fault. Just gonna transition into uh, boots and crampons and uh, head up over on this side to avoid some of these crevasses. Head in front, breaking trail. Oh, and coming up. This glacier has been an absolute slog. Absolute mission. And it is ridiculously hot. Like 25 degrees. Just approaching the hut now. Uh, got like heavily crevassed and they're all just covered with a light dusting of snow. So we've fallen through quite a lot. So we've roped up, just come up this. 
This bit. It's pretty sweet. Oh, pretty sorry. Hi. few delays but we finally reached or got sight of Empress Hut. There's Ed in front because he's an absolute machine. An absolute beast. There's Mount Hicks. Just arrived at Empress Hut. Pretty spectacular views but big day to get here. Real long day. Ed's just down there scoping out the route for the morning or well we're gonna leave about midnight I think. Pretty amazing views. I am absolutely spanked that we haven't climbed the mountain. But yeah we're here now um get some calories into us, rest the legs a bit and yeah Another f***ing day of it tomorrow. <laughs> so we just arrived at Empress Hut. It's a pretty sweet hut. Swanky. That yeah, it's really nice. It's good. It's also very remote. Yeah, it yeah. was an absolute mission to get How was it in? 17k and... 20k oh, and awesome. 13 hours pretty much. Part of that's our own problem <laughs> the, uh, the time. We, uh, we started following some people's footsteps and it made Clearly hadn't gone the best route. They led us astray. <laughs> led say. us astray. Yeah. But that's okay. We got here though. Yeah. We got here. Right? So the plan is now to have some food, um, and then we're gonna probably wake up at about eleven. Oh, go to sleep, and wake up at about eleven p.m. <laughs> and then leave about uh, twelve. Yeah, midnight. So okay. what time is it now? About seven. Yeah, come up to seven. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Eight, yeah. Nine, ten, eleven. So four, four hours. Four hours sleep. We probably had four hours sleep last night because we drove down from Christchurch. <laughs> so uh, burning the candle, you know, both ends. Oh, yeah. See, uh, see how tomorrow goes. has kind of put a bit of a spanner in the works. So. Change of plan again. <laughs> we just had uh, the dock office radio through to the hut and they give out the uh, the weather forecast and the freezing level is going to be like 3,600 meters. So basically, We're yeah, like we can't, we can't climb because nothing's going to be frozen. It's just going to be a slush fest. And then on top of that, Saturday, well tomorrow as well. The winds are up. It's gonna be high winds, and we're gonna be on. We had intended to be on a very exposed ridge, and then on top of that, Saturday when we plan to get a, a chopper out, it's, it's gonna be mega winds. So we to hundred k's or something. So yeah. So we just get stuck. So we've had to abort on the initial plan of the Grand Traverse. Some of the times. And we're just gonna. Basically, just walk out. <laughs> what we just spent thirteen hours walking. <laughs> the walking was nice, but for no reason. Yeah. So we're just about to leave Empress. Uh, the weather forecast was pretty accurate because it has been mega windy and the snow is real soft. Yeah, there's like crust, but it's not enough to hold body 
That's where we stayed last night. Yesterday we followed these tracks because we figured oh, if there's tracks it's safe for crevasses but it led us up through all this uh, ice fall and there was a huge berg trend to cross there and generally it was just a terrible route so uh, today we're taking the proper route down. Is a better angle of the route we took yesterday. Found myself in a bit of a crevasse field, so uh, just trying to get out of that.